In this tutorial, we are going to learn adding and subtracting fractions. At the end of this tutorial, you will be able to add and subtract uh, any kind of fractions, including mixed numbers with the whole part and fractional part. Let's get started. When, um, first of all, when we if denominators of fractions are the same, then fractions can be added or subtract subtracted by adding or subtracting their numerators. For example, example. Assume um, four over seven plus six over seven. As I said. When we want to add or subtract two fractions with the same denominators, here we have same denominators of our fractions. Then we have to just add or subtract correspondingly uh, numerators of our fractions. In this case, um, and denominator will be the same denominator will stay, stay the same uh, and 4 plus 6 will be 10 and 10 over 7 as we know from previous tutorials can be written as 7 and uh, uh, sorry as 1 and 3 over 7 that's all another example uh, assume 4 over 9 plus 7 over 9. And since denominators of our fractions are the same, then we can just add um, denominator will stay the same and we just add um, numerators. It will be 11 and it can be written as 1 and 2 over 9. For example, if you write uh, 4 over 9 minus 7 over 9, this is a previous example, uh, but we have subtraction instead of um, addition, then denominator will stay the same and 4 minus 7 will give us uh, minus 3. Minus 3 over 9 will be, my, we divide uh, numerator and denominator of our fraction by number 3 uh, and uh, we have 1 over 3. Uh, it was the main rule and um, next rule is what if our denominators differ then of course first we have to reduce fractions to common denominators uh, how to reduce fractions to fractions to common denominator uh, it's very easy you have to watch our previous tutorials uh, on arithmetic series of tutorials um, let's give an example. Examples with, with different denominators. For example, uh, if we have 3 over 8 plus 5 over 6 and say minus 2 over 5, then we have to Reduce to common denominators all these three, three fractions. And to do this, we have to know the concept of least uh, common multiple. If you don't know what is the least common multiple of numbers, watch previous tutorials. And least common multiple of numbers 8, let's write it with different color. Least common multiple. Of numbers 8, 6, and 5. 
since uh, prime number factorization of 8, once again, what is a prime number factorization, watch previous tutorials, of 8 will be 2 to the power of 3, uh, 6 will be 2 times 3, and 5 is just 5 to the power of 1. And if we write factorization of this, uh, if we want to find least common multiple of these three numbers, we take 2 with uh, maximum power, and it will be 2 to the power of 3 times 3 and times 5. 2 to the power of 3 is 8, and 8 times 3 times 5 is 120. So uh, we have to reduce 3 our fractions to uh, the fractions with denominators 120. And since 100, 120 divided by 8, by 8, here is 8, will be 15. Let's write here 15 to remember, 15, and uh, here 120 divided by number 6 will be 20, here we write 20, and 120 divided by 5 is 24, divided by 5 is 24. So we have to um, then multiply the both sides of our three, three fractions uh, by these corresponding numbers and it will be 3 times 15 and at the denominator we write 8 times 15 which is 120 plus 5 times 20 over 120 minus 2 times 24 over 120. And then using our previous rule, because um, we transformed our three fractions to equivalent fractions, but now we have uh, same denominators for our three fractions, we can perform adding and subtraction. And uh, denominator will stay the same, 120, 3 times 15 is 45, plus 5 times 20 is 100, minus 2 times 24 is 48. And it will be 97 over 120. And that's all. This is answer. This is the final result of our example. Let's give another example. Um, another example. Example 4 over 5 plus 3 over 6. Um, least common multiple of 5 and 6 will be 30. Uh, we multiply both sides uh, of our fractions by corresponding numbers. The first fraction, denominator 5, uh, we have to multiply by the number 6 and uh, 4 also multiplied by number 6. And uh, it will not change um, the value of our fraction, as we know, plus um, 3 over 6, we have to multiply by 5, and here also 5. And we have, and now we have two fractions, but with the same denominators, uh, 24 over 30, plus 15 over 30. And now we can use our previous rule. 
uh, since we have same denominators, it will be 30 and numerators are added, it will be 39, 39. Now we can divide both sides of our fractions, of our fraction numerator, numerator and denominator by number three, we have 13 over 10. And we can write our fraction as a mixed number. It will be one and three over 10, which is by definition is one, which is equal to one plus three over 10. That's all. Let's give another example.